This is a problem related to automatic transmission torque converter that is sits in between the engine and the uh, transmission and uh, this is a perfect example of pump motor combining uh, together um, so you can read this uh, description basically some background information about torque converter how they work or how they're connected things like that um, I have simplified the problem here. So you got the engine, the torque converter, and the transmission. Uh, so this is how this thing is connected. It says that the torque is um, 253 is speed given for both the uh, torque converter and the... Um, so for the torque converter has one, it's a one single piece. It has both the get my pen it has both the uh, impeller and the motor so it's just a single piece so one side is the pump side which is connected to the engine actually it is fitted the opposite way however for the simplicity of understanding we're just gonna think this way so this is the motor side so uh, then you have all the information given here on the pump it gets um, 253 torque, uh, pound feet of torque, and the engine power is available 253. However, um, you should always calculate that based on the torque and the speed, uh, what the power is taken by any hydraulic system. So instead of using directly, and first of all, they shouldn't be same. They should be same at the speed of 5252. Now, the calculate the power taken by this torque converter. So, if you just write the equation like this, P equal to Tn divided by 52.52, like that. So, you can calculate that. So, the, our torque is given 253 pound feet divided by the um, times uh, 3100 RPM. Then, 52.52, I have got this number. 149.3 horsepower and then says calculate the power delivered by the torque converter so it's a 30 percent efficient very less efficient at this configuration so we can say the overall efficiency is the power output divided by the power input so that is the efficiency is 30 percent so we can say power out um, we can calculate that by the input which is this mass horsepower so i have calculated the power out is 44.8 horsepower now let's go to the next question calculate the torque convert torque delivered by the torque converter so we know the power so we can write this equation again p equal to tn by uh, 52 52.52 so for the power i got 44.8 from the previous question is equal to torque output by the converter times the rpm the converter is uh, the pump the motor side is running at 300 rpm so that's divided by 52.52 so torque output is calculated 784 that's what the automatic transmission does is multiply the torque by sacrificing huge efficiency. Calculate the flow rate developed by the pump uh, of the torque converter. So we can say the theoretical flow rate is VD, volumetric displacement times the RPM. The volumetric displacement given is two quart. If you go back to the problem, it is given two quart. Um, two quart is half gallon. So we can directly use that um, gallon so we can get it gallon per minute so two quart is half gallon and that is per every rep the volumetric displacement is given typically in one revolution how much fluid is displaced and the pump side of the torque converter is rotating at 3100 rep per minute so then i got it uh, 1550 gallon per minute uh, output sorry the the flow developed by the pump 
theoretical flow and then calculate the flow rate developed by the motor so we can do the same thing the motor volumetric efficient uh, volumetric displacement is also given uh, uh, 0.5 gallon which is two, two quart given so that's 0.5 gallon per every revolution times the motor is running at 300 rpm right, per minute so i will have i calculated that that's 150 i don't need a calculator for that 300 divided by 2 so 150 gallon per minute then calculate the pressure developed by the pump side of the torque converter so we can just simply do power is equal to pq by 1714 so we can plug all this number so power taken by the pump was 149.3 horsepower and then the pressure will come in psi if we use this um, so the pump flow was developed um, 1550 gallon per minute assume that there will be no volumetric loss otherwise you cannot solve this problem volumetric efficiency should be given for this problem so we are assuming that the volumetric efficiency is 100 percent no loss in terms of the fluid you can imagine things like whatever fluid goes in kind of deliver it doesn't work that way there are some slippage and loss always however assume in this case 100 percent efficient so then p we i calculated that was that 165.1 psi that's for the palm side of the torque converter now calculate the pressure develop at the motor side of the torque same thing at the motor side i have less power because motor is losing efficiency so motor side i don't have that much power so we can that was calculated uh, 44.8 horsepower p and the flow rate of the motor is 150 gallon per minute i calculated that before divide by 1714 again i'm assuming that the volumetric efficiency is 100 uh, percent so the pressure i calculated uh, i hope my calculation is correct 512 i thought that should be smaller but that's what i got 512 so that's it about this problem